Hey guys. Ooh, sit that down. Ooh, that looks so much better. There we go. So I'm in a dilemma right now. Uh, I think I was making videos like every day for like, I don't know, two, three weeks. Probably not even that long. And then I suddenly stopped. And I tend to do that a lot. Is uh, start something and not finish it sometimes. Which I hate, but you know, that's a problem I have. But I stopped making videos because I got in one of my moods again. If that makes sense. I just wasn't feeling myself. And when I say that, I mean like... I was depressed pretty much that's nothing like it's nothing serious I mean being depressed is serious but I've dealt with symptoms of depression or depression itself for a very long time now and I'm talking about like 10 11 years long time so it's never anything new or concerning to me when I start feeling that way because it's a normal thing I can be fine for a month or so a day or in the next thing you know I'm just the next day I'm just not myself or happy if that makes sense I just get like that every once in a while and one of my problems is I don't know how to deal with it even though I've been dealing with it a very long time I still don't know how to effectively effectively uh, get out of that mood so it's been like two weeks I've been feeling this way and maybe a little bit longer no, about a week or two I've been feeling this way. And I'm fine, you know. I'm not, like, terrible. I can still be happy and all that. It's just I'm not motivated to do anything when I feel this way. And so, which is why I tend to stop making videos. And another problem I have is with making videos is I don't see myself as very, very interesting. So, it's hard to make a video, say, like, even a gaming video. And for me to look at it and edit it, I just think, God, no one's going to like this. And starting off, I'm just starting off too, which makes it so much worse. It's just like, eh, no one's going to watch it because I'm not very interesting. Making vlogs is a lot harder since I have to be interesting, I think. But I don't see myself as interesting as because I compare myself to other people. Which is also another huge problem I have is comparing myself. I see other people who seem really interesting. They probably aren't in person. I mean, not that they're not interesting, but I mean, they probably mean a lot more um, over-exaggerated, I guess, for the camera, which I don't know how to do that. Like, I'm over I over-exaggerate every day, but I don't know. I feel like when I turn on my camera, I just go down a few notches and don't always act my crazy self. But that's also because of the whole me not see myself as interesting but I I'm working on that though I realize that's a problem that I have and it's gonna stop me from doing a lot if I don't think I'm interesting even though I'm pretty sure I am people talk to me people come up to me and talk to me so there's obviously something they see I just have to see it in myself but um, I decided that I'm gonna try to make videos a little bit differently and I'm going to make a video at least every day explaining how I'm feeling so it can be something like something cathartic in a way where I can get my feelings out and also make a video and so I don't feel terrible oh my god I'm not making videos I am now I can just say how I'm feeling and it won't be anything super crazy or deep it'll just be like I'm feeling happy today or I'm not feeling too great because of this or whatever it would just be something like that and I'm not going to get too deep into it like every day because I don't want the videos to be so depressing or seem like I'm super happy all the time either. I just want to be able to make a video and somehow get my feelings out instead of keeping them in until every Friday when I see my therapist because it helps to see my therapist but once a week sometimes isn't enough for someone like me. So it just... It'd be better if I make a video, and I know it's probably weird that I'd be uploading it on YouTube, but I also have a goal in life to help others. <clears throat> and what I mean by that is, like, I know what it's like to, you know, be depressed and have issues. And I know a lot of people feel alone when they have this problem, because I was one of them, and I didn't really 
ever meet anyone who was like me, who was as bad as me at that point in my life. And I want people to be able to, I don't know, I guess look up to me and see that they're not alone with their issues. Even if their issues seem worse than mine, understand that, you know, I'm still a person. I still have issues and that they're not alone. So I think hopefully doing this can be helpful to at least somebody that is having problems. If not, I'm still, it's still helping me. So yeah, I'm going to keep doing this because I like it. I like being able to talk and get whatever odd feelings I have out instead of just keeping them balled up because that's always been a problem for me is not talking about my feelings. Also because I thought it was a weakness for a very long time thinking about talking about my feelings and actually having feelings like a normal human being I thought was a weakness which I still kind of do think certain feelings is a weakness which is why I keep them inside most of the time which is an issue with you know having friends and all that but I'm learning that you know if I want the type of friends that I'm looking for I'm going to have to be a little bit more open mm. oh <laughs> excuse me <laughs> about my feelings it just it'll I just have to work on myself which is what this is going to be I guess a little journey on working myself and you guys get to watch and I get to look back when I'm older and look at the videos and be like oh I was so different back then kind of what I was doing last night I was on my phone looking at old pictures and I feel like pictures can be just as good as a video when looking at oneself they they show a lot and I was looking at old videos or not videos pictures of myself and realizing how much I've changed and grown over the years from I saw a picture when I was 17 and I can tell that I was feeling different than because I was fake smiling <laughs> and I can tell when I'm fake smiling is uh when my dimples isn't showing because I have a few here and then one huge one here and if it's not showing I know I'm like I'm fake smiling I'm not feeling it I used to do it a lot because I didn't like smiling mainly because of my teeth <laughs> but that's a whole another issue uh, I hope you guys will enjoy these little videos I probably won't edit this it'll just be a whole bunch of me uh... okay I might edit this cause... <laughs> fucking FedEx oh my god he's speeding through here again oh he's going so fast oh my god <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy these little uh, cathartic videos I'm going to be uploading for now on. I still will upload other stuff, but this is going to be more helpful for me and more motivating for me, I guess, to upload something like this because it actually means something to me. So I hope you guys enjoy this little journey that we're going to go on and hope I can at least help one person while I'm doing this. But I'll see you guys later. Bye!